Today's nomination witnessed five candidates from the Gambia Democratic Congress Party who arrived at the IEC Bureau in Basemansayan in the company of their supporters. The five aspirant candidates contesting in the upcoming local government election under the GDC ticket faced IEC officials to present their nomination credentials. Some of the documents they submitted, including a citizenship certificate, voter's card, asset declaration, income tax, campaign code of conduct, as well as $1,250 deposit, party symbol caller, alongside other relevant papers. After submitting their nomination documents, a receipt of confirmation was given to them by the IEC Regional Commissioner, Lamin Cham. We'll give you receipt of acceptance for nomination. Then once your document is scrutinized through the verification system, because they have to check whether the supporting um, uh, voter stats you have there uh, it suffice to allow you to participate in the forthcoming election. Once that is done, we'll call you to give your acceptance letter to participate in the local forthcoming local government election. Meanwhile, we'll give you receipt of nomination documents, which I'm going to sign. Two of the candidates, Ibrahim Manin of Jolangel Ward and Abdurrahman Kamara of Diabug Ward, respectively, are seeking re election. The duo expressed confidence in winning due to the development project they have brought for the people of their area. If you see that I have come back for the second time or two, yeah, the people who selected me have seen what I have done for them for these past years. Because if I don't do anything, they are not there for that. Maybe for me to be just at a picture at the uh, office there, no. But they see my effort from the day I start from the work up to now, they see my effort. If you see I wanted to stand again, it's because of the people. The work that I did in, the, in, in my world, that's why they, they elected me again. Election is very important. It's even important than the other elections. Because uh, we are the people whom should uh, uh, do the development for our people. You know, to, 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 to take their incomes and return it back to them. The regional IEC commissioner reminds the candidate to abide by the laws of the election such as the code of conduct and its ethics. We advise that, you know, you know, this world election, this area is very small. So we advise that you do your campaign within the law, confines of the law. And the campaign, um, uh, the code of, uh, campaign code of ethics, which you've signed, is legally binding on you. Violation of any regulations in that can lead to the cancellation of your candidature. So be mindful of that. Tell your supporters to go about they are campaigning peacefully without uh, hindrance to other ca candidates. The other three candidates who are also vying for a councillorship in their wards in the upcoming local government election spoke to the media after presenting their nomination documents to the IEC officials. I know how conditioned my area is and how situation there is. So I know how they lack, what they lack and what they need and what, what time they need and when they didn't need. That's all I am here for, to bring the changes. If you look Wool East from Fode Kunda to Kanape, the road is very poor. Because when I win the election, I give them only three months, I will make the road up to Bajakunda, inshallah. All the candidates were advised to engage their supporters to abide by the IEC Code of Conduct to answer peaceful messages as said during their campaign period. However, officials said, any candidate who violates the election code of ethics could face the cancellation of their candidature. Sari Kamara, reporting for Justice News from Basse Upper River Region.